previously on YouTube. Oh, huge hit there. I think it's all over for the DF Robots lift kit. But we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic, and we are back with the DF Robots lift kit because, uh, well, the last video didn't go particularly well. Uh, so we're back with this and we're going to try out some suggestions from you guys in the comments on the last video. So I have printed out new parts, as you saw, and I think this chassis is going to do a whole lot better than the previous one. For one, it is now wider, so the wheelbase is a little bit better. Uh, for the second thing, it is now no longer contacting the ground on a single point. It actually runs the same wedge system and design as um, This Is A Party and also 99 Red Balloons. And it also centers the mass of the actual lifter up and behind the wheels to hopefully kind of balance all of that stuff out. But uh, without further ado, let's rip all of the electronics out of one, put it into the new one, and I guess we'll see how all of this goes. All right, all set up and ready to go. There is a slight warping issue because the battery didn't quite fit where I wanted it to, but I think that's okay. We're going to power this thing up together for the very first time. Here we go. Uh, and we're gonna see if it will hold itself correctly while the weapon is up. Three, two, one. Hey, look at that, ha ha ha. Yeah, I mean, I can't go too quickly or um, that happens. Can I self right from that position? Oh, almost. I kind of need bigger wheels, but the problem is actually, even at this position, we are uh, three grams overweight. I actually need slightly smaller, thinner wheels on this thing to actually get it to work. Now, one thing I do want to test is lifting ability. So here is the old bent, mangled, broken forklift kit. Uh, let's see if we can lift this just, just as a starter. Okay, well that, that wasn't what I wanted. Let's try that again. Nope. All right, well let's put something on the forks while the forks are up and see if it will hold. Go that way. See if this works. Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. But, I mean, the lifting forks aren't really, I guess, about actually holding something. They would be a lot more of a flippery design than anything else. So. And they do kind of flip quite well. All right, let's get uh, 99 red balloons in here and see how that fares.
<laughs> ah, yes. All right, so this actually is working pretty well. As mentioned, it would need a minor tweak in the fact that it needs uh, to save three grams somewhere along the way. And I think that could be done with either different print settings, uh, because there is a lot of infill in the lid, uh, a changed lid design, because again, there is a lot of infill in the lid that probably doesn't actually need to be there. Um, yeah, or uh, a new fork, because I've talked in the past about the fact that the fork wouldn't actually be fully legal for a bunch of competitions, especially an all plastics league, it would not be legal for. Um, but if you did a plastic fork, it'd probably work. Um, especially an ABS part that's two pieces. So the prongs are one, printed as one piece and then the backboard is printed as another and then the ABS welded together or acetone welded together, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm really happy with that. Oh, look at that. We can get the forks into the motor too. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the other option I guess too would be to um, choose different wheels and go that way. But yeah, this thing has plenty of power. And now that um, we've stopped it from, uh, yeah, now that we've stopped it from um, falling over every time it lifts something, it actually works pretty well, I'm gonna say. Uh, I might, if you guys want, I might throw this design up on Thingiverse. I actually need to put a bunch of uh, some of my designs up because I realized there are designs that I've said that I was going to put up that just haven't gone up yet, uh, which really do need to go up at some point. Um, yeah, this thing's actually a lot of fun to drive around and it's relatively good at being disruptive to another robot. I mean, I, look, this thing's not going to... Um, survive any better up against this plastic weapon than the last version did. It might survive a little bit better because the pontoons will take some of the damage, um, but it's not gonna, like the actual weapon isn't going to survive significantly better. One thing I will say too actually is that this could be printed in ABS to save that extra three grams because at the moment this chassis is printed in PLA. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Lots of ways to uh, get this robot in underweight. Like I said, it's only three grams. It's basically enough weight that it could be done, especially even like changing these screws over to nylon screws. Lots of different things that could be done to remove all of that weight or that small amount of weight. Anyway, I'm, I'm super actually happy that I came back and redid this because this design is a whole lot better than this uh, test design that was basically inspired by the, uh, the motor testing design. I, I like this a lot more. It feels a lot more like an actual robot that would actually go into competition and do somewhat decently at the very least. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy that that's come out that well. Anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next video.